hello 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 everybody it's salon diva v here and today i am participating in the everyday life of an ocd chicks um spring challenge and her challenge was to spruce up your garden area um for the springtime so that's what i'm going to be doing i am going to bring you guys along i bought some items for the backyard i actually bought a hummingbird feeder for this area i'm gonna pull out the weeds and show you guys how the this area is growing so i'm gonna sit you guys down right here and then we are just gonna i'm just gonna pull out the weeds and then I'm going to hook up the hummingbird um, feeder. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I purchased this little hummingbird feeder um, from Dollar General. It was $3. And some of the hummingbird nectar so it says it makes 40 fluid ounces all right one cup of nectar to four cups of water oh god let's see how many I didn't know this was going to have to come with all this kind of stuff. I just wanted to add the doggone water to there. All right, y'all. Let me go and mix this up. So, one cup of nectar to four cups of water. I will be back. All right. <clears throat> so, I have my nectar. I still have a little nectar mixed up in there. It looks like all it is is sugar. All right, that's good enough. So, I'm gonna put the top on there like that. And then also, I purchased this little hook right here. And I'm just going to turn that over and hang that from there. And hopefully, it will stay up in the garden so the birds can... I guess I need to pull that off. all right so that looks like that we're going to place that right there for right now of course it's not going to stay there but oh and that's heavy so for right now it's going to stay right there until i get ready to do what my next steps so i'm just going to pull all of these weeds out of the garden now i gotta put these gloves on because we had some bushes before we pulled them up and they have stickers on them and the last time i grabbed this thing by my hand 
all these little stickers was in my hand. I didn't know that they were in there. So I learned my lesson from that. It won't happen again. So I'm just gonna pull these up. Ugh, damn bugs. And I'll see you guys back in a minute. All right, y'all, I'm back. And this is what the front area, front yard looks like. I pulled all the weeds out. I finally planted that um, plant right there. I don't exactly know the name of it, but the tag is on there. So I'll let you guys know. I put my little um, bird feeder right there. And I'm trying to see if this, this was a rose bush from last year that was doing good until the freeze came. <sighs> um, so I went up in there and kind of aggravated the roots a little bit to see to try to stimulate it and see and then this one right here is another rose bush that i just bought this year um it did have a few green leaves on it when i purchased it but now it seems like they're dying back i don't know i um added some blood some bone meal to it and some eggshells just to see if um I fertilized it uh, if it will grow a little bit or see uh, or I'll see some blooms or whatever so this is my front area for now this rose bush is doing great this one is doing awesome um, and these as soon as I put these in the ground y'all they started sprouting i don't know if you guys remember from the first video that i showed um having them before i planted them and now they are just doing their thing so i'm about to get this these watered in um and then i will be picking up that stuff over there and move into the backyard area so we can make something happen in the backyard in my deck area all right y'all this is the backyard so um this area right here that's just leaves and grass i have my grass man um put them in a bag so i can make my compost that is just the area that i'm doing my compost and then this you guys have seen already but look how big the plants are getting my husband's friend bought gave me this table um just sunday it took three guys to bring this table in this backyard because it is cement and this is the perfect area i even made plans to put me some dirt right here for when i'm planting um and stuff like that so have some under space area this right here has all my um just junk <laughs> my sprayers and stuff like that in it um y'all so i had my pool right there the gardener not gardener the grass man put the pool right there i had it laying in the middle of the grass trying to dry it out i cleaned it real good and i had it let spray it out he came and he threw the thing in the corner well the other day when i went to open it up to fold it up to put it inside of the 
this is in the way let me see if i can move this so when i went to put it in the cabinet yo there was two baby snakes in there i said oh no the whole thing in the trash can in the trash can all of it i will buy my kids another pool i am not 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 about to open that pool up the snakes were in the um the pool cover I spreaded the pool cover out to wash it again and that's when I saw the two baby snakes and then my husband with his disgusting self was like well you know if they have babies they might have a nest they might have the mama I'm like oh my god dude come on now you're killing me so anyway I only saw the two baby snakes I did not open up the pool so I don't know if there's more in there it's in the trash can waiting to go to the curb tomorrow um and then this area i'm gonna pick that that up get me a um my words is just not coming out right today i think i need a nap i'm getting me a um a thing to put the hose on and we are going to spruce up this area this is our little homemade deck that my husband and i made together from just some pallets so we just took some pallets and then put some two by fours two by fours not two by fours um some i don't know the name of it <laughs> some wood on top y'all can see what i'm talking about put some wood on top screwed it down and put a rug on it and there you have it my little homemade deck um and i'm gonna do something to these pots i just don't know what so guys let's jump in i'm tired y'all just from doing the front part i'm tired i don't feel too good today i don't know what it is oh and y'all see my lights so they come all around and then i even have some on <coughs> that part of the fence and then i'll get some to go all around all the way to that side so the whole yard is going to be lit up i got the brown ones from dollar general and of course the green ones are from christmas <sighs> all right so let's get started
All right, everybody, this is the finished results of everything that I was doing. Um, I cleaned off my little deck area that me and my husband made. Um, I added those two candles right there. Um, those are citronella candles. And I had planted some marigolds up in here. You guys can see they have started to grow. Um, I just purchased that little tray table for when we're sitting outside we can hold our drinks and um and this is the stand that I made to be able to hold my holes because it's a pretty big hose um I had to make a cement stand holder and I will have a video showing you guys how I did that um that is the that table that uh my husband's best friend gave us and i am loving it so this is basically how the yard is looking now that i've did my little refresh still want to grow some things i did not expect for this to be over this section to be overgrown like this this is partially my fault I can say this is all of my fault. Um, oh, look at the red bird. You guys can see. Let me see. You see it right there? Ah. Yeah, I can see it too. Oh, disappeared. Like my kids used to say back in the day, it disappeared. All right, so um, she said, oh, there she go. She on the... Y'all see her? Okay, she said, y'all is invading my privacy. All right, so um, those are cucumbers that I planted. I thought it was cucumbers, and then I thought it was squash. But as you guys can see, I have a lot of flowers inside of there. And I actually picked a cucumber that my husband just ate just the other day. So they are growing um and if you guys can see where's my finger right there there is a little baby cucumber that's coming right there so the corn i'm gonna have to research to see what i should or shouldn't be doing with the corn um um watermelon is growing right there um i have some little ornaments right there the beans are overcrowded overshadowed so i don't i think they're in in that section right there so um i think that's not that's why they're not doing so well as everything else because they're covered um that's the basil that's getting pretty big and then that's the collards and then Ooh, that's a tomato right there and i don't know what that is i can't remember the sign let me see um that is let me see if i can see the sign collard greens and this is mustard greens so this is the mustard greens and that's the collard greens that's the tomato um i think that's just a weed y'all i'm gonna pull that up that is, I figured out what this is. Um, last year, I threw a bunch of old scraps right there. And I think that in that section, everything is just starting to bloom right there. Because there's a tomato plant in there. It looks like it's a cucumber growing in there. Just a bunch of stuff. Um, and then my other tomato plants are growing. 
my white eggplant is growing my japanese eggplant is growing these i need to replant them um that is my oh god uh angel trumpet it's growing those are peppers and then this baby right here is um another sunflower and there's some mustards i threw in there my strawberries um they're doing well i finally got to taste a couple of them so yeah so this is the way my refresh is looking um i am going to going to be making that into something probably a a, a, tr a plant holder so but yes this is my little area that i'm going to come outside and just admire my garden have some coffee have my quiet time thank god for everything that he's done in my life and just be happy all right y'all so this is my refresh we're about to go inside because this one right here is scared of everything that moves the trees just started blowing and he moved out the way yeah <laughs> he looking like why are you talking about me so all right y'all that is my refresh um I will see you guys in my next video. If you are new to my channel, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for coming. Thanks for checking me out. I have a bunch of more videos to come, new ideas. Guys, so just stay tuned with me and my crazy journey. And um, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Tell them peace. Peace.